Late into the night, as a bus driver was wrapping up his shift, he spotted an unexpected guest on his camera monitor. Someone, or perhaps something, seemed to be hitching a ride on the bus's upper deck. But here's what was caught on camera when the driver decided to kick them out. Sial kan, tak ada orang kan. Berderau darah aku lah, celaka betul lah. Aku puas jeritkan dia suruh turun tadi kat, kat dekat tempat turun orang. Nak bawa lah ke sini. Eh, okey mak betul lah. Armed with his phone, he ventured upstairs only to find nothing. The apparition he'd seen on the monitor was nowhere in sight. So, what's the deal here? For the skeptics among us, there might have been a sneaky jump cut between the moment he checked the camera and the moment he went upstairs, even though we couldn't spot any. Or maybe, when he was on the stairs, the guy was already hiding in front of the bus, since he didn't show the right area. However, from the paranormal angle, could it have been a spirit from the past? Perhaps someone who once rode that very bus? Or just a ghost looking to catch a ride to the cemetery after a long, haunting night. That being said, what other theories can you come up with? Let us know your thoughts down below. Birthdays can be fun and full of surprises, but what would you do when a bizarre event turned your day into a mystery, leaving everyone in the room scratching their heads in confusion? Let's slow it down. So, she starts by trying to blow out the candles, but stops midway, failing miserably. Maybe she stopped to think better about her birthday wishes. Or perhaps because she failed, she stopped to pull a slightly embarrassed smile at the person holding the camera. Fact is, when she does that, someone, or something, blew the candles out for her. Lily looks back at the candles only to realise they're pretty much all out already. But who, or what, blew out the candles while she wasn't looking? If you look closely, you'll notice she didn't blow enough air for that many candles to go out simultaneously. You could even tell by the look of disbelief on her face when she realised what had just happened. And if she did actually blow enough air, then her internet must be from the stone age with a ping of 5000 because the candles were clearly lagging worse than a WoW server when Cataclysm launched. But on a serious note, what do you think happened here? Someone off camera? A breeze? Or something far more sinister? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. When you see a rocking chair, your mind tends to jump to one of two things. Either a little old lady doing her knitting by the fireplace, or one hard paranormal punch in the face. For the kid in this video, it was the latter. Did you see that shadow? Creepy, right? Sure, the reactions themselves come across a little bit over the top. Whoever let out that scream is a few decibels away from the famous Wimhelm scream. But the meat of this video is that ascending shadow. It seems to be rocking with the chair until it stands up. Everything happens way too fast for a proper analysis. But before we jump into a paranormal assumption, if it's fake, how could they have done it? Well. First, the video quality is too poor for good judgement, but the proportions and dimensions of the shadow look a little bit iffy, almost like something was being dangled from a string in front of a light that was shining on the wall. Still, they'd have to be very patient to time it so damn well. But the fact that the camera never spun around to show us the other side of the room just sets those skeptic senses tingling. These are just assumptions though, what if they really capture the shadow person on camera? What do you think? Nothing short of a shadow puppet show, or something a little more sinister? Let us know. 
Working in a haunted hospital at stupid o'clock sounds like great fun, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Well, not for this Mexican nurse, who's been hearing strange noises and seeing shadow silhouettes out of the corner of his eye. But one night, after hearing unexplainable bangs in the other room, he decided to try capturing it on camera, only to find this. After seeing the footage, his colleagues were not surprised, as they all had their fair share of paranormal experiences in the place, but we're not just taking their word for it, are we? Before we analyse this video, let's watch what else has been happening inside the new hospital in Villa Hermosa, Mexico. Creepy, right? Imagine working in a place where lights flicker and disembodied voices scream at you from a distance. Sure, we should always be open to all possibilities, no matter how strange they sound. Meeting. Meeting. But the same goes for applying logic when analysing these videos. Voices from the underworld and paranormal energies affecting light bulbs? Maybe, but it could also be one of their staff members having some fun off camera for a spooky clip. And that bottle would be pretty easy to pull with a fishing wire without it being visible on camera. Plus, for some reason, we can also see the curtains move a bit. This could mean anything. From a gentle breeze to somebody behind it trying to prank us all off camera. And they also uploaded a video of a supposed shadow figure captured on their CCTV cameras. But we're not even going there, as it looks more like a fly moving on the camera lens. These are just our thoughts though. What do you think? Is this just a way for the nurses to spend their spare time creating spooky videos? Or does the fact that it could all be easily faked mean nothing when there's always a chance of it being real paranormal activity caught on camera? Let us know your thoughts. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. Do you believe in the simulation theory? This creepy video captured in Atlantic City will make you question the laws of physics then. Take a look. A study by Stanford University found that birds can hover in place by matching their speed with the winds. But surely the wind can't stop a big ass plane in midair like this one, right? Well, this has been a heated debate between paranormal believers and skeptics over the years. On one side, some believe we live in a simulation, and strange events like this are clearly a glitch in the fabric of our simulated reality. 
After all, we only need to take a look at the latest video games, virtual reality, and AI advancements to understand that there is always a chance someone, or something, could have done it on a larger scale already. On the other end of the spectrum though, some believe these events are nothing more than physics. A plane battling against a strong headwind, meaning the direction of the wind is pushing against the plane, slowing it down. Therefore giving the illusion that the plane is stationary when in reality it's just going super duper slowly. But what do you think? Let us know. Picture this, the year is 1993, families are recording their daily lives, capturing memories on chunky camcorders. But sometimes, those memories are more perplexing than they are precious. Watch closely as this little girl plays around. Something peculiar happens on the left hand side of the screen. It's one of those blink and you'll miss it moments. But once you see it, you'll be bewildered. So I think my dad got a ghost on camera back in 1993 and I want you guys to let me know what you think. And for all those Gen Z's out there, this is a camcorder. We'd set it up, press record and go about our day. I don't know why, it was just a 90s thing. And just so you guys know, we've had a ghost in every house that we've lived in, so that's why I found this very intriguing. Go ahead and watch that pumpkin in the left hand corner, and let me know what you think. While it is only a tiny portion of the video, it's still hell of a weird because nobody was anywhere near the pumpkin toy when it toppled over. But if you look real close at the way the toy was already balanced, it seems like it could have been on the verge of falling due to unbalanced weight anyway. And the dad moving toys around, with the kids stomping around as well, could have shook the floor a little, meaning the pumpkin would have obviously moved. The uploader claims that she's had ghostly encounters in every house she's lived in. Coincidence, or is there something more to this tale? Sadly, she leaves us hanging without diving deeper into her ghostly history. This video from the Twitter account Akbar underscore TV was apparently captured by a paranormal investigator who explores creepy ass abandoned places. But this time, it seems like he's taken on more than he can handle. Watch this. <laughs> while he could have gotten someone to move the door off camera, the fact that he quickly investigates it all shows he has nothing to hide. We kept an eye out for any sneaky jump cuts, but it all seemed pretty non-stop. What truly stands out is the palpable fear in his voice <laughs> and his rapid, uneven breathing, adding some credibility to the video. It's as if he's come face to face with a dark presence that's left him utterly rattled. But just because we couldn't spot anything suspicious, it doesn't necessarily mean it's real. What do you think though? Be sure to share your thoughts with us. If there's one thing you need to learn from this video, is that you should never listen to your friends when they tell you to investigate an abandoned building known for being a hotspot for strange rituals, where cloaked people have been spotted multiple times. This guy listened to one of his friends and armed himself with nothing but his camera and a torchlight. But he soon found out why that was such a dumb thing to do. If you're listening, turn up the volume. There's something going on there. This place has been abandoned for a long time, my buddy said. Shouldn't be anybody in here.
get out of here. Find a back way out. Jesus. Hello? As he explored the area, he was drawn to this rustling from another part of the building. Curious and scared witless, oh! He edged ever closer to uncovering the spine-tingling mystery, but that's when he ran into this creepy stranger. As he reached the area where the sound was coming from, he spotted what looked like someone with a mask and darted straight out of there. Bet you would do the same, especially after hearing all the stories of sacrifices and weird stuff going on when the word rituals gets mixed up with the words abandoned building. Did he narrowly escape being a victim? If only instead of one, there were more cloaked strangers inside. Or is this just a bunch of friends creating another spooky video to freak us all out? Let us know your thoughts. If you've watched any paranormal content online, you'll know that the ring doorbells and any kind of home security cameras capture enough creepy content to make a blockbuster horror movie. And this clip is no exception to the rule. Have a look at the footage this person managed to catch on their CCTV. What on earth are those things? While there seems to be a common theme in dubious paranormal content, where the video itself has been recorded on a very crisp camera, we can still make out the shapes, and it looks like two small people in little cloaks. They're both around the same height as the car wheel, which ranges from about 14 to 21 inches tall. No idea where this video was filmed. So depending on the wildlife native to that area, it could have been anything from bush rabbits to other more exotic animals. There's a chance anything here could have been impacted by common compression errors associated with these types of cameras too. But what if it isn't? What if this CCTV managed to capture evidence of mythical creatures like gnomes, goblins, or even demonic imps roaming around the real world? Of Warcraft. You know... I really wish I had a garden where I could put a couple of human statues. This dude's sense of security gets suddenly shattered when a notification from his CCTV cameras pops up at stupid o'clock, showing two intruders standing ominously in his driveway. Concerned and wanting answers, he has the brilliant idea to go downstairs, open the door as you do, and confront them. But when he steps outside, things take a strange and unsettling turn. Take a look. We can clearly see two people there, but when he turns on his headlights, he expects the intruders to scatter. 
However, to his bewilderment, they're still there. Or so he thought. Because when he turns his headlight on again, it's like they simply vanished into thin air, as if they were never there. I know what you're thinking. It's just the poor camera quality, right? Sure, if it was just the camera, we could easily assume they left straight after he turned his headlight on the first time. And what we saw after was the result of some video compression artifacts. But did you notice? He saw them with his own eyes. Not only did he face them and move his arm aggressively, telling them to bugger off, he also tried the headlights again. His reaction led us to believe those figures were not just a camera glitch. They seemed to be really there. Until they weren't. Really struggling to find an explanation for this one. But hey, that's where you come in. What do you think he caught outside that night? Two intruders with bad intentions at a camera glitch? Or something far more sinister? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Ever dismissed witches as mere folklore? This eerie sighting captured on camera by Alejandro Hernandez on his way home might just change your mind. So much for Ding Dong, the witch is dead. What they thought to be a witch can be seen suspended in midair. Imagine seeing this from a distance. Wouldn't it be tempting to do a U-turn on the spot? After quickly growing a pair, they drove straight past it, but the closer they got, the more we can see its human features. Long, dark hair. Her legs were moving slightly, and it also looked like she was wearing a white nightie. But how could somebody be suspended that high without any signs of cables around her? If you look closely at one of her legs, it seems like it keeps appearing and disappearing, which could be a sign of video editing. But it could also be caused by poor camera quality and light conditions. At some point, we thought this could be part of whatever object held in midair, but if we rewind, we can clearly see it's just that dirty windscreen. Another theory could be a bin bag with a drone inside, but surely it would end up all entangled. That wouldn't work. And if it was a bag held up by a stick, where's the stick? Maybe it really is the Wicked Witch of the West making her long-awaited comeback. But what do you think? Let us know your theory in the comments. You know that feeling where every hair on your body stands up and you just know deep down in your gut that something's not right? Well, these guys can tell you all about it. They ventured into the formidable corridors of Hillview Manor in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, where they had a spine-chilling experience so scary, one of them ended up on the floor. And luckily for you, it was all caught on camera by the CCTV behind them. Let's watch. The scene, a dimly lit hallway with a group of paranormal investigators, eyes fixed on something we can't see. And then, boom, whatever that was, it sent one guy down like a sack of stones, heart probably racing a mile a minute. The team swears up and down that a ghostly figure charged right at them. According to them, there were footsteps echoing louder and louder, and get this, the building itself trembled with each step. Their genuine reaction gives you goose pimples, right? Spooky. Now, Hillview Manor isn't just any old building. It's got a reputation for being one of the most haunted places in the world, with a long history of paranormal activity reported by those who visited. So the team's reactions could actually be the real deal, that genuine shock of coming face to face with the unknown. Trust me, if you've ever experienced it, you'll recognise that look anywhere. But here's where things get tricky. We never actually see this so-called spirit on camera. It's all reactions and recounts. In a place as spooky as Hillview Manor, it's easy for shadows to play tricks on your mind. For every creak and whisper to feel like a ghostly presence. So, spookies, what's the verdict? Did they really have a run-in with a resident ghost? Or was it all just an amalgamation of shadows and nerves? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments section. Imagine relocating closer to your job for that extra hour of sleep, 
only to find that restful nights are now a thing of the past. The YouTube channel Fourth Wall shared a chilling tale sent in by the family of a man they say tangled with forces beyond our understanding. He found the perfect apartment, affordable, newly renovated, and just a stone's throw from work. But there was a dark side. The previous tenant took his last breath inside that room, plagued by what many whispered was a haunted madness. Despite warnings from his family about the apartment's grim history, he moved in. Dismissing the tales as mere superstitions, but nothing prepared this proud skeptic for what ensued after some time. Take a look. From doors mysteriously opening to objects toppling over, these eerie occurrences went unnoticed until this happened. Suddenly, he's seen playing the Japanese version of rock, paper, scissors, seemingly with an invisible opponent, and the name he keeps calling out, Hana-chan. Could he be communicating with a spirit? Now, he's seen donning makeup, obsessively calling for Hannah Chan. Later, a haunting revelation came to light. A decade prior, a tragic event claimed the lives of a mother and her daughter, named Hannah, in that very apartment. Fast forward a few months, and his employers report him missing. When his family finally locates him, he's unrecognizable draped in women's attire, lost in a world of his own. Do you think the ghost of the little girl could have haunted both men? Or was this a cooked up story for five minutes of fame? Share your thoughts in the comment section. This creepy video you're about to watch has left many in disbelief, lying in bed trying to find a logical explanation. But can you watch it without doubting your eyes? Take a look. What the hell was that? An animal? Casually coming down the wall like a spider? Way too big to be a spider though, even for Australian spiders. Send help. This happened in the UK anyway, so the chances of it being a massive spider are even slimmer. But what on earth did this CCTV camera capture that night? We thought it could also be a bug on the window rather than something outside. But the way it stopped after climbing on a car would be a huge coincidence for it to be a smaller bug close to the camera. How do you explain this one? Let us know. Deep in the hills, there lies an old house whose walls have absorbed sheer terror over the years, once being the home of a man who allegedly took his last breath at the hands of black magic bestowed upon him by a shepherd, furious that he denied him permission to marry his daughter, or so the story goes, as told by this urban explorer over on the In The Dark YouTube channel. He explored this house one night, attempting to make contact with the spirits that inhabited the walls. After finding a way in, he crept through into the building, never expecting the power of what lay within. Take a look. <laughs> Bismillah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hiç bir şey yok. Uf. Ya bu kapılar kapandı mı var ya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya az önce gösterdim hiçbir şey yoktu. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Arkadaşlar. Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh. Kendimi göstereyim. İçeriye girdim. Tekrar çıktım. Ve yine ses geldi. Tekrar girdiğimde bu sefer ben içerideyken kapı kapandı arkadaşlar. Bakın yine ses geliyor. Bakın bu sefer karşıya One thing we love about Samit's videos is the fact that he leaves no stone unturned. He goes above and beyond to figure out who could be behind these pranks, showing us every area of the rooms, even under the mattress. After a bit of deliberation, he heads back in to try and catch something on camera. And boy, did he get just what he wanted. From here on out though, it all starts to go crazy and he probably left with a few bruises. Take a look. Çaydanlık nereden geldi ya? Bu burada yoktu. Şu şuradaki Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Arkadaşlar kapağı gördünüz mü? Kimin kapak açıldı? Yine oradan ses geldi. Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.
Hangi arkamda? Bismillah. Elimi kestim. Elimi kestim. Pretty crazy stuff, isn't it? Sure, this could be all achieved by a working team taking advantage of the dark, open environment and crumbling nature of the house to pull things around while remaining unseen. And there is no real, factual backup that the whole Black Magic Shepherd story is true either. Still, pretty scary to think that he could be sharing a space with spirits so deeply associated with Black Magic. Either way, he cut the video short after he was pelted with random objects, saying the camera had run out of charge. But there's no doubt he was glad to haul ass out of there. We've seen many videos of bus drivers capturing bizarre events during their late shifts, with very few of them being wow-worthy. But this next scary clip is leaving both skeptics and paranormal believers scratching their heads. Let's watch. Corre el tiempo. Hay un pasajero sentado en el asiento del bus solo, al lado de la puerta. Nos movemos. Nos movemos. Y no hay nadie. Es un pasajero fantasma. ¿Qué Sigue ahí sentado. Y las cámaras no están paradas. Sigue moviéndose. Habrá sido alguien que que se murió ahí sentado. The bus driver was ready to finish her shift, but as she glanced at the CCTV, she spotted a young passenger who seemed to have dozed off. Determined to ensure the child's safety, she pulled over to wake him up, but to her astonishment, the seat was empty. The timestamps on the footage hadn't skipped a beat, and the child was unmistakably there on camera. How do you explain this one? Ghostly passenger? Camera glitch? Or something else? We'll let you be the judge of this one. We've all heard the tales of creaky old houses and abandoned asylums being haunted. But nursing homes? That's a new one. In this next strange video, a seemingly ordinary nursing home captured something on the security cameras that they're all struggling to explain. Take a look. So it's going to come right here. Boom. Just appeared for the camera right there. And then just flew... Hold on, let me, let me show how it came over here. This is where it came. And then, yeah, it's, see, it's, ca it's capturing it. Boom. And then, show it move. And then you can see it disappear also. Right here. It's gonna I'm showing the viewers for your phone. Gone. One moment it's there, and the next it's gone. And when the security guard checks the other camera, there it is, chilling next to the elevators in an entirely different section of the building. But then, it vanishes again. Just like that. No tricks, no gimmicks. Although we have got to consider the tech-savvy world that we live in. Could this be some digital wizardry? A well-crafted hoax for a few clicks and views? Well, keep an eye on the timestamps. They're hard to read, but we can still see that they didn't jump. 
so this seems to be raw footage played on the CCTV software itself. Plus, when we slow down, we can actually see the walking stick being yanked and passing by the bottom of the screen. And of course, the uploader sounds genuinely baffled to... Gone. Alright, and then here... Uh... Adding that a little extra bit of credibility. There's no over-the-top drama. No flashy effects. Just a walking stick making its ghostly journey, leaving us with more questions than answers. And maybe, just maybe, making you double-check every slight disturbance tonight, worried that the walking stick might be tapping against your door. This worker curious about the mysterious sounds after everyone had left, decides to investigate, but what he captured on camera might just send shivers down your spine. Bet you missed it, didn't you? The head of what he believes to be a ghostly apparition can be seen eerily floating across the factory. But hold on a second, on closer inspection, frame by painstaking frame, it's hard to confirm if we're indeed witnessing a spectral presence. The figure doesn't exactly resemble a head as he claims. And let's not even get started on the grainy video quality. Even in slow-mo, it still wasn't clear what entity it could have been. No thanks to the potato quality video, but this is just our take on it. What's yours? Let us know. Ever wonder why the majority of paranormal experience we hear about come from deeply religious families? If you don't mind me asking. Here's another case. A terrifying video uploaded on TikTok by Cheryl, who titled her account WWJD, meaning what would Jesus do? Cheryl started with a video showing Bible verses and images of Jesus, so surely she's fully protected against the forces of evil, right? Wrong. A month went by when she uploaded another video about losing her job and embracing a new career as a seamstress. But it was when she started uploading videos of her daughter that things took a terrifying turn. One night, she had to stop sewing when her daughter noticed someone moving inside the wardrobe. Little did they know what was about to come. Take a look. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Oh, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? I think there's something under the door. Under the closet door? Is that what scared you? Hmm. It's okay. Everything's all right. One of her mannequins appears inside the wardrobe and starts wobbling, seemingly by itself, until it's eventually smashed on the floor. Creepy, right? Wait, don't jump to conclusions just yet, because there's more. A few months earlier, before they even had the mannequins, Cheryl decided to leave a camera recording to try and find out the reason for her daughter's fear. And boy oh boy, didn't she just.
Her daughter heard a disturbance and went to check it out, only to stop dead in her tracks. She got so freaked out by something we couldn't see that she left the room, clenching onto her teddy just before the door closed seemingly on its own. She recently posted an update. Apparently they're leaving that house for two months while her friend's away, who offered a temporary place for them to stay safe. Finally getting out of this house. Um, my friend has so graciously offered to let us stay in her house for a few months while she's traveling. So we're going to be living in her house for a little bit and then we're going to be making other arrangements from there. I'm already setting some stuff up. So I'm going to let you know in case you don't hear back from us for a while. Um, With all that said, there's quite a lot of details that don't add up here. First, when all the other mannequins were outside, what was that one doing inside the wardrobe? A grounded naughty girl? And why did the camera go all blurry at the exact moment when it started wobbling? We've all heard how ghosts cause cameras to go blurry, but who knows they didn't edit the footage to try and hide a string. Sure, her daughter definitely looked terrified, but so did Kyle Richards in 1978. On that note, when the mannequins started moving, we kind of expected them to freak out at least a little. But all we could hear was a perfectly relaxed, I'm scared. I'm scared. Come, let's go. Come on, come on. And the door closing by itself? Well, with that camera angle, it wouldn't be impossible to have someone on the other side closing it without getting noticed, surely. On the other hand, she did risk breaking a mannequin. And those things are not cheap, which adds some credibility to their case, especially if she lost her job and mentioned buying them recently. Not sure about this one, but what do you think? Real poltergeist activities tormenting another religious family? Or another attempt to grow followers on TikTok and kickstart her new career as a seamstress? Let us know your thoughts. A massive shout out to our viewers Becky Davies and Erika Peterson for suggesting this next channel. Ghost Theory has been a big name in the paranormal game for a while, always capturing thought provoking footage in every video. This time, the duo found an abandoned house that was still a chock a block with stuff, but the further they delved into this hovel, the more they realised that they weren't the only ones creeping around. was that? What? <laughs> right off. What the f is happening? Should I leave my camera in here for a bit? No. Did you not hear that then? That was in there again. The camera's in there. They stayed for a little bit longer after hearing this, hoping to catch something in full view of the camera. Pulling out the spirit box, they tried to communicate with who or whatever was juggling objects around. After a few minutes of sod all, they turned on their heels and walked back into the kitchen, but what happened next made them wish they had never entered. But did you hear like... Yeah. I heard stuff in here, it's like it was almost making making their way from here, listening to us. Like, mm. through there. <laughs> F my god! What the f me? That was like something just in shadow. I felt like I just got punched in the face almost, but I didn't, obviously. What happened here would probably make you jump right out of your skin too, if you were inside a creepy ass dark room like this one. There is always a chance that the footage could be edited, of course, but at the same time, these guys pride themselves on their authentic paranormal footage and actively try to prove it's all genuine. What do you think? 
filmmakers, or raw, real paranormal evidence. Make up your mind by checking out more videos on their channel, Ghost Theory, on YouTube. Again, a huge thank you to our lovely viewers Becky Davies and Erica Peterson for suggesting this channel. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.